aqui embaixo. Otávio traz essa rona de recompensa para nós. E um daninho ali, um gostosinho no tiburão, sim. Que já vai utilizando ali do seu tango para recuperar os seus pontos de vida. Verdade, hein? Cara, tem um dano bem, bem gostosinho aqui. A equipe da Wolf tem um golpe subterrâneo, tem o um efeito do iluminar. O Tavo vai tentar fazer essa finalização do mago. Isso, consegue. Beleza, não perdemos o primeiro mago. Tem que só tomar cuidado com esse Jimmy Koff aí, encurtando a distância com o Kingão. Pois bem, aqui por baixo a gente tem boas esperanças que essa lane pode dar certo. Não só por ser um Sunny King contra um PL, mas também pela presença do Kingão que deixa só ali o cajado para fora. Uhum. Ai que delícia. Enquanto lá em cima temos o Draquel Blake e vou enfrentar a rota ali do KJ com esse, com esse Andain junto ali do... Para de bater high five com ele, velho. Ele é nosso inimigo, KJ. Fica apertando a mão de inimigo aí, meu parceiro. Olha, olha, olha o que ele faz contigo. É traiçoeiro. Tá tomando o hit do creep de bobeira aí, ó. Viu? Vai apertar a mãozinha dele pra você ver. É. Aqui o nome disso sabe o que, que é? Conflito de interesses. <risos> Conflito de interesses. Lá no meio, a DR... Vai trabalhando com seu Marte contra o Tiny. E nessa, nessa perspectiva aqui, ó, oh, oh Armes, e aí, quem é que leva vantagem? Temos vantagem ou não temos? Nossa, aqui embaixo o PL já tá assim, ó, na raberola da vida. Opa, Balsamu interrompido pelo Kingão. Vai lá comprar outro. Compra outro lá. Vai ter que voltar pra base e o dive pode ser real aqui, hein? Tem muita criatura embaixo da torre. Dá pra abrir uma lacuna pra perseguição em cima do Tiburon. Você vai receber esse Iluminar, mas ele é rápido. Ou não, recebe do dano do Iluminar agora. Vai ter que ficar ligado o Tiburon sim. Para não ser pego ali pelo Tavo, novamente se reposicionando o Kingão para trazer mais um Hadouken. Traz o Hadouken, passa nas costas do Jimmy Coffin, mas não acerta o Tiburon Sim. É isso, a gente gosta disso. Agressiva ele, Tavo. Agressiva eles, porque lá em cima estão agressivando a gente, Tavinho. O Blake fez o primeiro abate em cima do KJ, mas vai acabar também... Entregando a sua vida enquanto lá embaixo rolou a agressividade que a gente pediu, hein? Pois bem, jogo equilibrado ainda, tá 2x1 um pra equipe temida, mas é um jogo... Onde a perspectiva é que o Tiburon Sim entre um pouco mais cedo pro game do que o Juggernaut, né? Porque ele vai ter uma itemização para isso, né, o, o Armin? Você acredita que esse, esse PL vai fazer realmente essa difusora ou não? Talento do level 20, né? Amplificando ali a folha das lâminas. Tá vendo ali, vai constantemente recendo da magia do chakra ali. A fim de recuperar essa, essa mana. Recupera também, aliás, diminui o cooldown das habilidades. E vai trabalhando no farm, tá vindo muito bem. São 20 finalizações para ele, o PL tá com 17. Enquanto lá por cima, o Shugenaut também tá, vem, tá tendo uma vida bastante semelhante ao PL. Ele que tá com o HFN que tá com 19 finalizações. 
mas não está sofrendo essa pressão que o seu PL está sofrendo aqui embaixo. Esse é o lado bom da coisa. A agressão agora o Jimmy Koff deu aquela encurtada na distância, vão para cima do Tavo. Ele traz agora o golpe subterrâneo junto com a tempestade de areia e vai tentando trazer o máximo de dano possível para cima do Jimmy Koff, que trouxe um bálsamo de cura ali para o seu cord lane. E agora eu quero dar uma olhada em como que está sendo a rota do HFN aqui por cima. Ele, junto com o KJ, estão tentando fazer as suas finalizações, uma situação muito igual à linha de baixo. Só que aqui a gente tem um pouquinho mais de potencial de abate, parece, cara. Aqui é, é o Cajoca, tá? Conseguir trazer uma, uma boa lápide e, e dar essa proteção, fazer com a GFN dê aquela girada. E pode ser que aconteça isso agora, porque olha quem viu da linha de trás. O ADR, ninguém viu ele se movimentando, nem mesmo eu. Do nada. Ele foi com runa? Foi com runa, acho. Não, não, foi sem runa, hein, velho. A runa tá na mão do Mig. É, brasileirinho, pode comemorar. Estamos bem por enquanto. A perspectiva é boa, só que tem rotação aqui por baixo. A, 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 a rotação é do Mig. Com intenções para cima do Tava aqui. Tem visão? Por enquanto não tem visão. O Mig deixou uma sentinela observadora mais avançada. Ele que vai encontrar agora o Kingão, hein? Vem avalanche, o lançar, vai acabar punindo o Kingão. Ele consegue. Ah, Mig, teve uma ajudinha, hein, Mig? Teve uma ajudinha ali das criaturas ancestrais ali para dar esse auxílio para ele. Which they does have uh, not have the tree throw levels, so it's a little bit rougher. Out lane, Omni slash, snowball save. H fence starts spinning before the snowball even flies up, but there's a tombstone there as well, which is a bit of an issue. They find the kill onto KJ, but the tombstone is summoning a lot of these nice little zombies. Blake being slowed down, can he get out? Aisha's block keeps the zombies at bay, and the tombstone also gets taken down in the process. Radiance are scanning. Oh, Meiji is running deeply. Ooh. Okay. Has been yeah, they. He's just keeping them occupied for some time, at the very least. But he eventually will die while they do fight. How did Tibu die to King RD <laughs> in his base? Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, that's uh, the downside of uh, first phase picking PL. They can just put up an off-lane duo that makes it incredibly tough for the hero to farm. Though, of course, PL is a hero that has a pretty decent farming speed uh, once he hits level 6, which, of course, he is right now. Jimmy Cop walking past 4DR, and in comes the Illuminate Blast as well. Big coddle damage, big kill, another one added in the bag. But a 3k lead here for Wolf Team, and they're looking mighty fine. Uh, King RD is level 6 as well, pushes him back into the middle of the arena, close to the tombstone, he's gonna get slowed down, nothing he can do, no backup from his team either. And yeah, honestly, th th like, I, I really think that Dreamers are completely screwed. <laughs> Even top with that rotation, like Draken's got no farm. Oh, 
for DR. Might be a big kill. Secured. Nice moving of the illusions there by Blake. Uh, sorry, by Jimmy Goff to make sure that Midgey does not accidentally toss back an illusion. That is very nice micromanagement of uh, the illusion game. Otherwise, that could be go horribly wrong. Well, in the meantime, Tibu dies again. Tavo. Another to toss back. KJ. Okay, make that two in mid. Or King RD. No, he won't be able to save his buddy's life. But yeah, they still found the PL bottom lane. Uh, solo kill coming out from Tavu. Does have his blink, so he probably epi bur blink burrowed on top of the PL and nothing he could do. Uh, bottom lane again, Tibu. Got, uh, I mean, it, it's just so threatening. Wherever you go, they've got the ward vision, which still hasn't been counter warded considering they killed you there last time as well. Really wondering what the supports are doing half the time. Are scanning. Dyer's top tower is under attack. It still is. In the couple of games that I see. Like this game would make a lot of sense, especially because it's a Milstrom juggernaut as well. So he only really does magic damage at this point. Dyer's middle tower is under I'll attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And King RD catching up to the rest. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Mid Draken, you don't want to be here. I mean, they also gained vision that King RT was smoked up because there was a random Illuminate flying out of nowhere. I mean, to be fair, you can't take a single fight. Like, that was the big downside we saw in the draft from the Dreamer side. Their team fight is non-existent compared to what the Wolf team has. Very aggressive. Dive in, doesn't get the epi off, but look at that spin. Oh my lord, the heal on top, and that should keep Tavo alive as well with the healing ward. I mean, that is just pure team fight. That entire thing is just tons of AoE damage coming up on top of each other, and they get evaporated. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I mean, it even blocks fountain hits, which makes even less sense. <laughs> they do find the kill on to 4DR at the very least, but that is only one, and there's an entire lineup that is more farm than you. HFN is going for the SNY. Is does need to be careful because Midge is right next to him, and so is Blake. They have a lot of lockdown that they can throw on the jug in one fell swoop. I mean, the Ava does, of course, makes it so that you can't spin anymore, and then you. Yeah, but w with the toss up and then the Walrus Punch, I, I I think they can get that burst in. He only has twelve hundred HP. Arena comes out. Miggy is just barely out of it. There's the big heal blast coming out from King RD. A lot of damage being dealt inside the sandstorm. Jimmy Goff on the run. The rest of the team trying to disengage. It will be two kills picked up and the Mars staying alive.
Uh, HFN wouldn't be surprising if he doubles up on the Tibu's net worth this game. 6-0-2 on the last pick, Juggernaut. That's exactly what you want to have from the last pick. King RD is going to get jumped, tossed up. But he's got himself the infused raindrop, so he really doesn't care about any damage thrown in his direction. Miggy trying to run away. There is an arcane rune, which is nice. And the avalanche on top. Okay, he runs to safety. Might actually even consider re-engaging soon enough, because that is a one-two pump for a kill. But uh, the rest of the team already bailed out, and they really just want to have Tibu farming on the side. Oh, Davo. No vision. Ouch. Need to buy some dust. That one was beautiful. Avalanche on top. 40R held at bay. Even the tree for good measure. This is really well done by Miji. He's still alive somehow. Avalanche on the top. Does not have a way out. Does just barely lose his last tool. Miji tosses further forward his allies while staying on the very edge. And those were some absolutely godly Tiny Airlines moments. Another kill? Davo! I'm getting flashbacks from the previous game! <laughs> I mean, to be fair, HFN is still AFK farming, and he is very much ahead of anyone else in the game. But you did mention, of course, one very important aspect, and that is that the PL late game is superior to anyone else in the map. TP <laughs> Davo, hello, got him. But, but, the, but there are a couple more creeps. I just, just one second. And then walking back in the trees, waiting a couple of seconds and then TPing instead of just the immediate, no, nope, I'm gone. Well, that's Roche. And he, that is, I, I wasn't even looking in that direction. Uh, okay. My God, I'm so sad that we don't have the replay of that. <laughs> I, I actually can't believe that I missed the steal. Oh my god, I feel so... That's a big fat detours in chat right there. <sighs> we had the radio commentary at the very least.
Ibu. Does he get out? Magic wand, TP immediately, and he is gone. On the meantime, top lane, toss back onto King RD. They find a double kill. They do not manage to kill off the PL. And that is, I mean, yeah, you you mentioned it. These couple of small things, Aegis Steel, the tiny, you know, airline fin finesta that we saw was, uh, all these small things are keeping the net with close, and that is pretty scary for Wolf Team. HFN, toss up is the control there. Omni slash though, the arena comes out, and there's the team fight coming through. Miggy trying to go for the TP, and HFN survives because uh, Kaya San, it's a SNY is a pretty good item. looking to push out i mean they, they definitely do notice on the side of wolf team of course that they should also be careful about how long they extend this game because 40 r on the mars like mars is a great hero he gets a very fat power spike once he hits like the the refresher orb moment but he, it's a hero that completely falls off at one point Oh, Miji coming in. Tiny toss. Tavo is dead. They will find Jimmy Goff in return, but again, Tavo getting caught out is a worthwhile trade. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. In comes uh, the attempt on Draken. And he is very much stuck. Buyback actually coming out from Jimmy Koff. What? Do they want to actually go? Toss back, break the healing ward. They get control. HFN dropping low. He does not have a way out, but the pushback coming in from 40R and King RD. The spin. Oh, King RD with the cooldown reduction. Saving HFN's life there. That is huge. But is it actually going to be enough? HFN still being chased down. Tipu is just on that hunt, and the hunt is successful. They find the double kill. Nine kill streak picked up by Tipu, and this is looking this is looking like a very dangerous game for Wolf Team. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. 4k net with advantage is all they've got. They do have King RD with the shard, which is nice. The, uh, the global summoning. So if you are going for like high ground pushes, buyback, resummon, or sublime. Also, he's going for my favorite item on Kato. That is the Aghanim Scepter. The Will of the Wisp is really great against most teams. However, PL literally one shots it with his illusions. So that's one big downside to having it against the PL.
Yeah, I, I definitely think like both Miji and Blake have done tremendous amounts of work so far this game. Like it's pretty insane how long they've extended it. 40 yards is going to chase after Draken. The Viper is going to get caught, but y you know, we're at the 25 minute mark. We're past it. Viper at this point in the game does nothing. Like it's just kind of a, a, a overgrown creep at this point. Same like an ogre. However, Blake currently is building the greatest item in the game. Tusk Aghanim Scepter. If he gets that done, that juggernaut is going to get knocked out of every possible team fight. Midgey? What? He's literally walking into a sandstorm next to him. What? This is a pro problem. Draken is going to get blown up. Does have a buyback available. Tebow's charging forward though. The avalanche! And that was a lot of control coming out. KJ being chased in. Miji trying to hunt for more. He's being slowed heavily. KJ does stay alive a little bit longer thanks to the Ghost Scepter, but will eventually lose his life. The rest of the team does tend to get out. So all in all, it's still a very good fight for Wolf Team. They force out two buybacks and they only lost Tavo and KJ in response. They summon Tavo in, Miji being chased, Omni Slash on top, the Tiny is about to die, double kill coming through, both do not have a buyback available, Blake snowballs into the fray, gets caught out, Tibu is now in, stuck inside the arena, he's gonna get blasted as well, does have a heart so he's survivable as all hell, but it's Tavo with the epi, too much magic damage, no buyback available for the PL, and just like that, their entire game has crumbled into nothingness. I mean, it, for me, I still don't really get what Midji was doing. Not this death, but before he had to buy back. Where he just walked through the sandstorm next to a Sand King who was prepping Epicenter. Like... True, but even then, like, he doesn't have a BKB or anything. He literally just walks next uh, through the sandstorm of a Sand King while his team wasn't there. PL wasn't there. Like, if PL is there and stuff... Uh, then sure, but if he's not there, then you never should walk out of position in front of your own high ground. Uh, yeah, sure, I, I do. Uh, um, they got that 1% though. Believe. Oh, for, for me it's 99 Oh, you, you predicted. No, no, no. Dota Plus is 99. <laughs> King RD being chased by illusions. Arena comes out, catch on to Tibu, that's the real one! Jump in, oh, snowball save like a god, like a G, can it keep him alive? Not really, Will of the West, they're being held, locked down, the team fight is superior. Tibu is still alive, Omni Slash bouncing all over the place, doesn't find the real Tibu, Tibu is still being hunted, but he is a 
Not dead yet. Not dead yet. They spot which one's the real one. He's quickly destroying the tombstone, but Tibu now does eventually fall. 75 seconds. No buyback available. A thousand buckaroos off, and they find themselves the Aegis plus the Shard plus most likely the dub. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely looks pretty good for HFN, 40R also pretty nice showing, but honestly, I, I, I personally think King RD, you know, is always a god, the man is just so freaking good in this game, yeah, he's a king for sure, high ground push continues, there's not really much that they can do against it, that should be mega secured. Tibu is here, but they've got just so much AoE team fight and lockdown and magic, just AoE damage that the PL really is struggling at the moment to get anything going in. He's charging forward, getting rid of the two stone barrel on the side, Jimmy Koff and Draken held inside of the will of the wisp. No one is breaking it down. Epicenter on top. Davish is running amok through everything. Draken's still, like, he can't move. He's stuck. Snowball save attempt, but the Will of the Wisp is still alive. For some reason, Tibu hasn't broken it just yet. Going for King RD on the back line. The supports are the target for this PL. He does manage to find at least one. Looking for more, but Tibu is going to disengage. Tavo misses the burrow in the process, but it's two heroes that need to defend against everything. And a double buyback from Wolf Team should most likely mean the end of times for Dreamers. Tibu, buy back. One last hurrah. Charge forward. Destroy that will o' the wisp. Come on. The Ignis. The Ignis is still not dead. Finally, it drops. But yeah, the ancient's gone in the process. So, well, it's still not completely gone. Believe, Tibu. Believe. <laughs> Tank all the creeps. BM sprays coming out from KJ as well. And that is indeed it. Wolf team take the series and that means two out of three games i predicted correctly finally dk